This is an ABC Action News tracking the traffic update. Sponsored by these valued partners. All right, as we're looking at the tropics, you can see this is looking a lot more like a tropical system now. As we're looking at Helene, you can see that counterclockwise circulation. We don't have a clearly defined center or eye at this point in time. However, it will continue to organize as it moves north into the Gulf uh, throughout the rest of the day. So again, it is expected once it gets out over open water and away from the Yucatan Peninsula to increase in intensity as it continues moving north, likely to become a cat three storm by uh, tomorrow during the day and once it is offshore and level with Tampa this is when we are or really as it's approaching when we're at the highest risk for storm surge flooding and we're talking four to ten feet above average tide levels and because of the duration of time it will take to move north in the Gulf of Mexico it is going to go through two tide cycles uh, during uh, that movement so we will have a prolonged period period of time where we've got that risk for uh, storm surge flooding. So along the coast, you definitely want to use extreme caution and try to prepare your property for that potential. Now, again, we're looking at the um, least extreme uh, amounts of storm surge flooding farther to the south, and then as it gets uh, farther to the north, we'll have uh, higher levels of storm uh, surge expected. So again, we're looking at about four feet as you get into Sarasota, Manatee County, and then on up to possibly as much as six to 10 feet above tide levels as you get into Citrus County. Now, as far as the progress of the storm, you can see that as we get into to tomorrow afternoon. That's where the storm really gets a bit closer to us. We may see some of those outer bands of heavy rain as well as the strongest gusty winds around the uh, the center of the storm moving on shore. So we could see some tropical storm force winds in our coastal counties right along the coast and maybe a mile or so inland that could be in that 50 to 60 mile per hour range. It is expected to make landfall uh, somewhere around 10 o'clock to midnight on Thursday night. And then after that, it will be weakening. We'll still have some of those southern bands moving through on Friday and possibly even on Saturday that are still associated with the remnants of the system. But again, our biggest concern with this storm is going to be storm surge flooding. And that is all throughout the day on Thursday and into Thursday night. We will get pockets of heavy rain though throughout the day today, some gusty winds as well. And then tomorrow, the strongest winds in the afternoon to evening. By Friday, we're back to improving conditions, but still have some gusty winds and some periods of heavy rain. And again, the strongest winds will be along the coast from Thursday afternoon to Thursday night as that storm is just about parallel to us well offshore in the Gulf and then moving north prior to landfall. We'll have more updates, of course, as we move through the rest of the day.